Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's quick video on Azure AD, we'll look into the different user type within Azure Active Directory. So if I have to categorize users within Azure AD, it can be divided into three. The first one is cloud identities. So the users which are born in the cloud, they don't have uh, anything to do with the on-prem. That's what you categorize as cloud identities. The second user type can be divided into or categorized into directory sync identity. So in this case, you might have a domain services on-prem and you sync, uh, you use a tool such as AD Connect to sync those identities within Azure Active Directory. That's how you will categorize uh, directory sync identity. And the third user type is the guest user. In this case, you can invite users maybe from other cloud or maybe if they have a Microsoft account and give access to the applications. So these are the three types of users that you will see within Azure Active Directory. So how does that look on the Azure site? So let me just go to my Azure portal. I'll just go and search for Azure AD and under manage, go to users. And you can see that uh, I have a name. I have a user principal member, the directory synced or not. So in this case, for this user, the directory is not synced. It means that this user is born in the cloud. That's one thing. And you can see the identity issuer. So it's a techdatacanada.onmicsoft.com. Now, what happens in case you want to bring a user, which is a guest? So say, for example, I have a user. So under the user type, you see, I have a user type as guest. So in this case, you can invite user from maybe other cloud or with different email address, which is not your root email address, such as in this case, my root email address is uh, techdatacanada.onmicsoft.com. This is a different uh, uh, ID. So in this case, I can invite user and give access to the application to which I want to. So this will come under the category of guest user. And another thing is if the directory has been synced or not. So say if I have an on-prem active directory Right, let me see if there's anyone which I have with the uh, sync. It will show yes. So you can see that in this case, the user with the name DD3 is coming from on-prem active directory or on-prem domain services. And that's why you see that uh, under the member type, it is or directory sync type, it is yes. So these are the three ways you can categorize users within Azure Active Directory. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.